2022 GL. Yes, we're going to point out all the cool features of this new Winnebago. If you're not familiar with Mick, Mick is um, a friend of the channel for sure. He's whom I bought my, uh, my Travato from back in June of 2018. And I've driven him crazy ever since, and he's still letting me on the lot. So, um, Mick, welcome. Hey, thank you very much for coming out again. Yeah, of course. Um, so, Winnebago Motorhomes, Rockford, Illinois. Not to be confused with Winnebago Industries, which makes Winnebago Motorhomes. hand you the microphone and we're just going to kind of follow you around so this is the new floor plan the 2022 um there's some things I, i'm not a big fan of and there's some other things that are pretty amazing so we're going to show all the good things um, about this floor plan and nick's going to kind of walk us nick make is going to walk us through that um so let's uh want to do that okay. okay and so the the, the chassis is about the same there's chassis, some safety features there are some cover on the on the inside um but just kind of runs through the outside here what we're looking at um on this uh Travato GL. It sounds uh, new on the Travato GL. A lot of things are very similar. Here's our um, where we can hook into 110 volt power. Our Truma exhaust for our heating and, and water heat. LP fill. One thing that they did add is our um, place for our sewer hose. So what does that fit? Do you think way bigger than the one that come with before, right? Yeah, I know. Well. Depend 10, 10, feet? ten feet for sure. Yeah, maybe even fifteen. Eh? Yeah, you know, but then it depends on the type of hose you got because you start getting into some of the the thicker Rhino liners or some right. of those they get pretty thick. Right. But. Um, and this is cool. Is it's not dribbling on your van like cool. mine does. <laughs> I like that. That's cool. And so I'm not seeing any water things. Maybe we can talk about they, that. They did. They you know they shame. they've eliminated more cut points on the outside of the van. Um, which is plus and minus, I think, for some people. But I think once people get used to it, it, it does kind of makes it a little nicer, cleans the van up, less places for Winnebago that has to cut more holes on the side of that of your van. Yeah, yeah, much smoother, almost kind of more limousine looking. Still has the um, how do you oh, like? Yep, outside for when you're dumping like at night. So here's your um, gray, uh, gray and black. That's uh, typical right there. Okay. Ladder, we like that. Removable ladder, we can go anywhere down the side of the rack. Side. Now this is something that's kind of new. Uh, we saw this set up on the Solus. On the Solus. So tell us what we're looking at here. Is this a movie screen? What is it? It, it kind of gives us a, a, you know, basically an outdoor shower. Um, when we go inside, we can come out and we'll show you where that outside shower is at. But it gives you a curtain there, so you can um, take more advantage of of their outside area where the water hookups at. So a little bit of privacy maybe, or yep. certainly um, shower outside. Is, is right. Say. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. And this helps stabilize it in the wind too. Like it that. does. Yeah. You know, the pole kind of helps lock it into place. Yeah. And then the, these are held on by magnets on the side of the door. Okay. Very cool. And continuing around, looks like we have an awning. Awning is going to be very similar. Electric awning, LED lights. We got 110 volt outlets on this side. Yep. 12 volt in our outside uh, cable connection. Okay. And then our auxiliary solar port. Awesome solar. Okay. Running boards, and they, we do have LED lights on the bottom of the running boards. Um, yeah. and I love and this running board because it's so wide. Mine is not, and uh, it's wide, which I love. It has the tie down points if you're you know, tethering a Pat. spouse that's uh, needing some uh, quiet time or maybe a dog. Yep, maybe. <laughs> Okay. The new this is the big change up here, so there's no, no jump seat. Tell us about that. It does. They, they, they moved the water tank, so it opened up our entryway into the van, so it made that a lot more open. Um, then it did also give us another 110-volt um, outlet here, some USB ports there as well. Mm -hmm. It gives us a grab handle here, but it's also a, a kind of like a ram mount for our table. So we can move our table from that position that it's in now or move the table or here. move it over here. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, it definitely is more open um, for sure. And people are pretty probably reacting to that pretty nicely. They have been. Yeah, yes. Yeah, for sure. So tell us about these seats. These seats are super different than what I got. They are. Your, you know, your, your seats you can fold down and make into that a second bed. Now, unfortunately, with the more open floor plan, or the, they move that. Uh, we no longer make a, a second bed. Um, 
but they are, you know, these do flip up. They do give us a little bit of, there's not much there, but a little bit of storage oh, yeah. there. This um, storage here this, if it counts. This removes and gives us access to our Truma. Sure. That's cool. I like that a lot. And you turned to wallpapering that can double as a wallpaper um, Paste? <laughs> moistening thing. <laughs> Uh, that's cool. So, and this is new. So, tell us about this. That's a new sound bar that's, okay. um, to the TV. They did move the TV yeah, location because it was here. Yeah. Um, so it gives us a little bit more storage here as well. So that's pretty deep. It's just six inches maybe for a van. Yeah, yes, it's pretty good. I love this carpet line. That's really great. Uh, but then the big thing about the TV is now it is on a swivel swivel bracket, so we can't take this. Oh, and wow. swivel it around. It's like transformer TV. Holy and use hell. it for watching it in bed. Yeah, which is what a lot of people like to do. Uh, that is, that's a serious mount. That took some engineering. <laughs> that's cool. And the three-point seat belt, that was a pretty it big does, change, yep, right? three point, I, should, I should have mentioned that before, but yeah. it does have the automotive three-point style seat belts instead of just a lap belt. Right. The other thing we do have too, which I don't remember if yours had that roof access port. No. Um, right. What's that so, about? So they do have a roof access port here, so that gives us um, access right to the roof for installing. So you folks you know, can see that. So we got some uh, power, and then this is what he's talking about. Here's that um, thing there. So you drill through. Well, the plastic there's a, there's, on top. A, there's a plastic cap on top of the van, so we have a raceway there for installing. You know, maybe a Wi-Fi extender or a Wii Boost or something like that. So it's. It's clearly labeled here, which is kind of cool. So it's, it's Winnebago approved and drilled and weatherized, which is pretty awesome versus me doing it. Um, the, the other thing that's a big difference is a lot of your controls were right here. Yeah, yeah. I was just now they so. moved everything above the sliding door. Which is a, maybe a little bit more accessible. Um, you certainly see it visually more. Um, now a lot of people put a shelf here. That might be uh, kind of interesting, but... Uh, um, that's um, good use of space, I guess. Yeah, I, you know, myself personally, I wasn't, you know, you don't know all the mods that a lot of people do with yeah. maybe adding a show. When I, when I first seen it, I said, well, it, great, because that's unusable space right there, and yeah. it makes a nice clean area to, to put everything. Yeah, and this is Volta equipped, so maybe hit the Volta button and just watch this thing come to life. Wait for it. Ooh. Ah, just like that, just a few seconds, we've got 30 amps of shore power. So tell us about the Volta system. Is this the same 87 watt, 8.7 8 kilowatt? It is. It, you know, you have the option for the... Yeah, tell us about the option, because that that's a big deal. I wish I had that option then. I didn't. Kind of like the National Park Edition. They had a little bit bigger um, Volta pack in there. It gives you another cell, um, and you're going to be... But I can't think it's of like top 11, my... 12,300, is it? That's exactly right. I think so. You get four modules loaded. Right. Uh, Instead of three, you get a you get yeah. a, 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 the fourth module there. But yeah, I mean, if you are doing Volta and you're you want to be boondocking, I would actually be recommending getting that option because I can go about three days sitting stationary, uh, depending on how I'm managing the inverter. But with that extra module, you could probably sit for five days if you're ma you know managing temperature. You don't need the AC for sure. Um, that's a that's a big difference, ladies and gentlemen. So if you have the, if the means, I would actually get the upgrade for sure. Um, but glad this comes with a Volta system. So, and so this is a different screen system because mine started here and I pulled it across. Right. And uh, so this is kind of a different system. It is a roll. About. We can undo our little buckles here and this will unroll. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then we just simply <laughs> zip those down. Okay. But now once you have it zipped, you don't have to keep zipping it in and out uh. each time. Because there's a magnet it here. It magnetically closes. So then you can just yeah, pop it open and go in and out. And it's probably, once it gets you know, settled in once, a little bit, it goes, it yeah. snaps in much better. And I don't have it zipped all the way down. Yeah. But then it, and then it is weighted at the bottom to kind of keep it close at the bottom yeah. as well. That is super great. That is super great. The back screen has a back screen on it as well. It does not have the magnet on the back screen, so you do have to zip that one okay. up and down. But um, So tell us about the galley. So it's got the, the counter extension, which I love all the time. Glad they included this because I love to use this as a, as a standing desk so I can stand here, type, 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 look out my great view. Yeah, more about the galley, please. The other update on the galley is oh. you got the induction range top now sure. on, the, on, the G, on, the, on the lithium version. That's a big deal. The other thing that they do now as well, yeah, which this, this kind of came to us from the Solus also, 
We saw and that it, earlier, but what is it? It just recycles. Instead of wasting your water to get hot water at your sink, right? We flip this valve, and then it just it does not go through this faucet, but it just sits there and circulates that water. It gets hot water to your faucet. And then we shut that off, and then we come back over, turn the faucet on. We immediately have hot water. We don't waste any of that water waiting for it to get warm. Which is a pretty big deal if you're boondocking and you're trying to conserve water to have, you know, a quart or two go down the drain just to get just, some hot water is really pretty wasteful. So that's pretty ingenious. Um, I'm really glad to see that. So a couple of the changes here is this residential faucet, which is really stunning and really nice sink. Um, Corian countertops. Corian right. countertops, solid surface countertops. This is just a beautiful sink. And you know, I kind of love to hate my marine sink. And this solves that problem. This is pretty different here. You used to have the cool iconic flip out window, but they've, um, was, the issue was kind of people were banging the window with the door a little bit, maybe. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. especially on that sliding door on that yeah, exactly. side. Yeah. So this gives you the kind of a traditional thing and still has the. the I guess we don't have the screen. Right yeah, there, now so. on this one, we don't have the, on the other ones with the. Awning, awning windows awnings. we do still have our screen but here we the screen the is built, built into the in. frame and the big cabinet up here which is great um, i love these these are really nice um, for grabbing huge cavernous um cabinet here which is great still very very big which is really awesome um, new basket um, lights are about the same water pumps in a different spot that's kind of interesting um, i guess you're in the toilet and you forget your <laughs> So you're not running your business all the way through to the thing, right? Right. How that works, I don't know. Um, so tell us about the shower. Some pretty big uh, changes in the shower. Definitely a taller um, stool, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, just kind of tell us about the... Yeah, not. I mean, not a lot of difference, but again, you know, the, the sink, the faucets have changed in there. Um, you have a separate sh shower faucet for your shower. Um, we do get a, a little different mirror there as well. So I'd say this is maybe slightly skinnier, that it, taller maybe. Yes, I think this is a little taller, definitely a little skinnier here with a different style of sink instead of the round sink. Yeah, which round is nice. Sink. And the big deal here is they got rid of the shower pump, so it's gravity drain? They do. Drain? It is a gravity drain, and then they got the bamboo... Um, I love the bamboo um, steppings. Pump. And this actually kind of looks like a regular drain now, right? Versus, Correct. Uh, and it kind of helps eliminate that pump that was always getting get, it filled, plugged. It filled up. And um, so the stool looks a little taller, but you got a, um, uh, which is kind of nice for some folks, right? Yes, a little easier. Yeah, and you can actually see it so, pretty dramatically on the, the lift there on the, on the stool. Uh, shower curtain? Yeah, right. just gives us a shower it. curtain here just to, to prevent that part from getting wet if you have anything in your cabinet there. Yeah, um, then a towel rack. So, and this is kind of interesting. So in front of you is a, um, what, the whole shoes? What is yeah, this? Yeah, like? yeah, yeah. I think ba really basically more the shoes, but then there is a zipper uh, Velcro pocket oh, here cool. that we can throw some stuff oh, in here as well. Wow, that's pretty and that's gusseted, huh? And the same thing on, on this guy here as well. So, so you can store lots of so his and hers, hers and hers, his and his. That's kind of neat. Um, and this is a pretty dramatic change here. So tell us about the bed. They have. They've changed. You know, they've changed it to an aluminum frame bed. Um, when this folds down, this kind of works as a step to get into the bed. Yeah, all right here. Yep. Yep. Okay. So when I'm gonna unbuckle these yeah, little spring-loaded clips here are for our outdoor poles okay, that we have see that set in up. Okay, we're gonna second for sure. But then when this comes down, welcome to one-handed YouTubing. Not as easy as it looks, is it? <laughs> wow, the mattress is quite different too. So, so then we do have a step. Yeah. Because right there, so you kind of jump into bed that way, right? Right. Okay. We did, which is nice. That's you know, and it's even maybe even lower. I wonder uh, if that that is. Hmm. I don't think the height is a lot different. Okay. You know, because that was a, always kind of a someone always saying, "How man, it's kind of hard for me to get in yeah, that bed." Yeah. And they kind of try to solve that with the step there, That's of cool. course. I like that. Um, it is a little lighter frame with mm -hmm. the bamboo slats in there and the aluminum frame. Um, but you still maintain your garage storage, which is super important, right? Right. Super important. And you still have your hallway when the bed is up, which is super important. Uh, the window shift is kind of interesting, um, but functional. And then we're back to the acrylic window there with the awning out. Right. And then, like you say, then our screen comes down from the top. Okay. We do have a basket here for some storage, maybe for a phone or a laptop. And then because we do have USB ports right there yeah. as well. And what's this thing right here? That's another... Um, Call it ram mount, so ram then, and, and then you can get a, a mount to go on there to hold your 
tablet or okay. cell phone and stuff for like if someone's going to stream or something like that. Okay, we can do that, that makes that sense. As well. And cabinets. Yeah, a little different latches here yeah. again. So pretty big, voluminous, um, which is pretty awesome. That holds a lot of stuff. That holds a lot of stuff. And kind of look at the Galligan. So same uh, microwave, which microwave. is great. Non-convection. Non-convection. Okay. Uh, in the G, we get the larger fridge. Fridge on top, which we love that. This, by the way, holds two half gallons at least. Well, two half gallons plus, put it that way. Um, and, and freezers, freezers, the same. freezers, that's the same freezer at the bottom. Right, which is just ginormous. Um, and this, there's some, this is a cool mod here. It does. We got shelving in here. The shelving's adjustable. Maybe you could even eliminate one of the, or one of the shelves here because then we do have some hanging uh, space here for that closet also. Yeah. This is nice to have a shelf here. I wish I actually had that. Um, looks pretty cool. You can see the bracketing or the bracing for the, uh, TV, TV bracket, bro. which yeah. is kind of interesting. Okay. So some big changes in the chassis with safety. So tell us, uh, tell us about that. Let me yep. swing around here. They have, you can see the, they've got a new digital rear view mirror on top. So we, there's actually two cameras on the back of this vehicle. One for the digital rear view mirror and then the one that's in the, the radio there for us. Um, so it's got are Winnebago installed? The radio, the Pioneer radio is Winnebago installed. Okay, so that's a mod a lot of people did. Okay. And the safety? Blind spot monitoring, crosswind assist on the chassis, the, um, the new digital uh, or the dash radio, a seven inch touchscreen monitor. It's got Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, uh, Sirius ready. So it does not have navigation in the radio, but with the Android and the Apple CarPlay, you can mirror your phone right to the radio and, and have it right off of there for you. These have the optional um, ultra leather. Ultra leather which suits. Are really beautiful. These feel so luxurious. Soft, yeah, yeah, very it's, soft. It's really nice and very clean. <laughs> I like mine. mine and soft. then that's the same. They still you know pivot around so you can use it in the living area as well. So you guys think of this. This is pretty cool. Um, a lot of things I like about this floor plan. It's still a G floor plan at the end of the day, which is just my favorite floor plan. Still very unique in the industry. Uh, comment below. What do you think of the changes? Good, bad, indifferent? Um, if you're new to the Travato family, again, this is very different than the K. The K had two twin beds, so to me, it feels like you're living in your bedroom all the time. Hugely popular. Always copied. Uh, this floor plan, not so much. And Nick is going to show us the, the back of the van, that cool shower thing. So let's jump back there. we got back here all right well now that you know Winnebago removed the city water hookup and stuff like that from the outside of the van th this is where we hook our water up now so then right here is our city water connection so we same as what we do on the outside of the van we're gonna hook up here for city water this one here is for our black water flush mm. um, but now these valves then are what's going to change if we're going to go from city connection, maybe dry camping where we're using our own portable water and water pump, um, if we're going to winterize, uh, power fill the freshwater tank. And it's just simple copy of the picture on the screen of, of what you want to do. So if we're dry camping, we're, gonna, we're not going to be hooked up here. We're just going to use our own portable water. We're going to flip the valves just like that. And now we're going to power off of our own water water pump to pressurize our water system. If we are hooked here through a um, water connection at a campground, maybe a city water connection, well then we're just gonna go to city water. We're gonna take this green valve, turn it down, and now we're gonna be using their water, their pressure to pressurize our water system from the campground. If we wanna fill our fresh water tank, then we do the, the power fill setting. So then we're just gonna take this blue valve turn it down and now we're going to fill our fresh water tank through the city water connection once it's full we just simply turn that back and while we're still hooked to city water we go to disconnect we flip the green valve back up now we're back using our onboard water onboard water that's cool seems a little complicated but you probably get used to it pretty it quick does. just follow the picture it does <laughs> really it makes it simple and uh, they winnebago provides you with a small hose here that's just a, like a little four foot hose. Okay. So then your your water connection is always outside the van. So you can disconnect it here and not make a water mess inside mm -hmm. the van. Um, 
and then that also at night, if you are at a campground and you're going from city water to um, using your own portable water at night so we can close the van up, we can simply you know, wrap that small little section of the hose here, close your doors, and you're secure for the night. That's cool. And this is... Um, Outside faucet. So hot and cold? Hot and cold. And then right in here we have, we, they, we have another little storage area here. Um, right now I don't have the hose where it should be. And that's quite a bit of storage. It gives you quite a bit of storage here, and we have another one on this side as well. That's where you show. And that's our hose. That's where you hose off your dirty dog and your for our outside faucet. Container spouse. Okay. And this is kind of a cool feature here. I always wished a little another fine, yeah assist yeah. to get in so you can get your in the, in the thing. And this is the utility cabinet. Yep. Which these are a little, little smaller, but uh, still very functional. Then this curtain, that's uh, this yeah, outside, this you know, um, privacy curtain here is just held on by magnets. So if we take those off, then, mm. so it makes it very simple. Velcro straps here, put it away, and we're yeah, like the pond magnets, right? Yeah. So again, the idea with this is, and the idea of this is just to give you a little, a little like more privacy, privacy here, and um, you know, if a person wanted to take a outdoor shower, a person could. And they went, you know, maybe they went kayaking, and they're all full of muddy water. Right. As long as you have the doors open, have this this going, and even if you're screening, if you're kind of an RV park or campground, there's somebody right there. This does give you fresh air, and then still gets some, some privacy, some privacy, which is really nice. And I do like the fact that would keep the doors more stable. I've had issues where my doors with the wind can actually close them unexpectedly, which is a little surprising when you're not uh, expecting that to happen. Um, so just thanks again for yeah. taking your time today. So you're all probably wondering how much this bad boy cost and what's the availability. The fact we're even sitting in one on a lot is pretty unusual. Yes, so Stampede to Winnebago Motorhomes, Rockford, Illinois, call Mick. Um, so this unit is, is available for sale. This one is available. Uh, pretty full featured, and um, what's the, what's this uh, MSRP on this one? And this one's one seventy. One seventy thousand. One hundred seventy thousand six seventy eight to be, you know. But uh, sure, discount off that. Take trades, whatever the case may be. Yeah, he's really easy to work with, and again, I, he's just been so so great to, to me and to the channel. Um, allow us to do things like this. I um, always always have a lot of fun when you come out. Yeah, it's just great. Uh, well, thank you again, and we will um, we'll see you soon. Hey, thank you. In real life or on the small screen. Sounds great. Thank you very much. Thank you.